Good morning guys, it is 3.15 in the morning and we are heading to the airport. <laughs> A bag of bottled water, a snack, a napkin, and a hand sanitizer. When you're done with your items, please place them back in the same bag to make pickup safer for a flight. Are you keeping your eye on her? Oh, sleepy. Got some stuff in here. Got some sleep in your eyes. Okay, 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 I'll leave you alone. Choo choo, mamas. What do you see out there? Huh? You like it out there? Switch it up. Get a little bit of both water, huh? Trip me? Look at all that. Yeah. All right, guys, we are in California. We've been here for about a day. And I'm gonna insert some clips of all the dogs playing because I cannot talk to you guys while they're all playing. Just can't happen. Um, but we just went to the dog park and Buddha is out. We have four dogs in the house here. And wait until you guys see the newest member of the family. <gasps> Little Choo Choo. Say hi, baby girl. Let's go see her. 
everybody's so sleepy. She is not ours, sadly. She is Buddha's cousin. She's um, Peyton's sister's new little Frenchie. She's 12 weeks and her name is Pepper, but we call her Choo Choo, Choo Choo Mama, Choo Choo, something along those lines usually. Um, and yeah, we've been enjoying California. It's pretty nice here. It snowed in Michigan as soon as we left. So we're definitely glad that we missed that. And yeah, we're having a great week so far. I do have to tell you guys about our flight though. So Buddha woke us up at like one o'clock in the morning. We were supposed to leave for the airport around 3.30. And at one o'clock he was up crying, trying to go outside, which is unusual for him. He doesn't usually wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And I took him out and we came back inside. Peyton got in the shower. I was finishing packing up and I turned around. He must have had quite a bit of anxiety about us packing up and he thought that we were leaving without him because he had some anxiety poops going on. Crazy poops, liquid, liquid poops. And I was hoping that that was the only time it was gonna happen, but of course, as soon as we got through security, he was acting like he needed to go, so we were looking everywhere for a dog bathroom, and he didn't make it. He was wearing pajamas, and he they were covering his butt, so he just kind of went all over his pajamas, all over himself. It was a mess. Yeah, that was how the beginning of the airport went for us. And then we got on the first flight, he did great. We all kind of just slept, it was only about an hour. And then we had a 40 minute layover. And as soon as we got there, we found a dog bathroom and he went again, but he made it to the bathroom that time. And that was the end of his upset belly, honestly. I'm really glad that it didn't last longer than that because then we had a four hour flight. And luckily we flew Delta on the way here and the middle seats are open still. So he got to just sit in the middle seat and sleep and he wasn't like on top of us, which might be a struggle on the way home. We will find out, I guess. But yeah, it was so nice having the open seat so that he could just sit in between us. And I'll make sure I insert a bunch of clips of us in the airport and all of that. I couldn't really talk that much, especially with face mask on and just dealing with him and all of that. You know how traveling is. But I tried to get a few little videos here and there. And yeah, I'm gonna keep vlogging for you guys throughout the week and for Thanksgiving and hopefully I can get some more videos of all the dogs yeah I think that's about all I had to update you guys about so we will see you next time we are doing something fun bye, -bye.